Hi all, welcome back to NS Pharma. Today we will see important multiple choice questions from pharmacology anti arrhythmic drug. Anti arrhythmic drug. This is one of the important chapter as per competitive exams. Before this, I already uploaded too many videos regarding pharmacology as well as uh, pharmaceutics and also pharmacognosy. All are very important. You can check in the video list of my channel, NS Pharma YouTube channel. In there, you will see videos regarding pharmaceutics, pharmacology as well as pharmacognosy. Everything chapter wise, chapter wise discussion. Important multiple choice questions from each chapter and there will be important points in that chapter also and I try to cover maximum so you can check in the video list of YouTube channel my YouTube channel NS Pharma and if you like uh, subscribe the channel also so we will move to the first question of this video the video about anti arrhythmic drug the first question the principal action common to all class 1 anti arrhythmic drug that is question was asked about class 1 anti arrhythmic drug for this you should know the classification of anti arrhythmic drug the classification we will discuss in the last uh, once the mct is over we will discuss classification this is one of the important points so the question was came from this classification class 1 anti arrhythmic drug has common action option a sodium channel blockage option b sodium i mean potassium channel opening option c depression of impulse conduction option d prolongation of effective refractory period prolongation of effective refractory period the correct answer class 1 anti arrhythmic drug is also known as sodium channel blockers so the correct answer is option a this class one is divided into three category that we will see in that uh, description means uh, in the last in all of them have same mechanism of action that is sodium channel blockage now we will move to the next question the anti arrhythmic drug which decreases both rate of depolarization of phase zero as well as uh, that is phase zero as well as rate of repolarization that is phase three of myocardial fibrase the anti arrhythmic drug which decreases phase zero rate of phase zero as well as rate of phase three of myocardial fiber is options are lignocaine, propranolol, cunidine, verapamil. It will decrease the drug which will decrease rate of depolarization uh, that is phase zero and rate of repolarization also. So the correct answer for this question is cunidine. Cunidine how? the action which will decrease rate of depolarization as well as rate of repolarization that is phase 3. Now we will move to the next question. Question number 3. The following is not a true following is not true about cunidine. Which of the following is not true of cunidine? Option A. It blocks myocardial sodium channels primarily in the open stage. Option B. It has no effect. It has no effect on myocardial sodium potassium channel. It produces frequency dependent blockage of myocardial sodium, ch sodium channel. It delays recovery of myocardial sodium channel. So what is the question? What is not true about the cunidine? We know that it produce it blocks uh, sodium channel. That means it is class one anti arrhythmic. That cunidine is coming under class one anti arrhythmic. So it will it will block sodium channel. This is correct. Option C. It produces frequency dependent blockage of myocardial sodium channel. That is also correct. It delays recovery of myocardial sodium channel. That is also correct. Then the last option option B. It has no effect on myocardial 
potassium channel now quinidine have effect on potassium channel it will cause potassium channel blockage also along with sodium channel blockage so the correct answer is here is option b the question was not true actually quinidine will block the potassium channel what but here it is mentioned it has no effect on myocardial potassium channel now we will move to the next question question number four of this video the following antiarrhythmic drug has the most prominent anticholinergic action the following antiarrhythmic drug which has the most prominent anticholinergic action that is antiarrhythmic drug and also it has anticholinergic action options are disoperamide cunidine prokinamide then lignocaine the correct answer is disoperamide 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 is the correct answer it has antiarrhythmic action as well as anticholinergic action now we will move to the next question of this video fifth question the most significant feature of the antiarrhythmic action of lignocaine lignocaine we already studied in the chapter which one that is related to cardiac glycoside we already studied lignocaine in that chapter it was using for or you know digital is induced ventricular systole uh, that was we studied on that chapter there, there was a question in that chapter which of the following medicine is used for the treatment of digital is induced uh, arrhythmia at that time we discussed lignocaine is the answer here the question came the most significant feature of antiarrhythmic action of lignocaine options are suprops one of the things lignocaine is coming under class 1 antiarrhythmic uh, the options are suppression of phase 4 depolarization in the ventricular ectopic focus option b prolongation of action potential duration option c prolongation of effective refractory period option d depression of membrane responsiveness the correct answer is suppression of phase 4 depolarization in the ventricular ectopic 4k lignocaine suppresses ectopic 4k it will suppress ectopic 4k now the sixth question Lignocaine is effective in the following cardiac arrhythmias. Lignocaine is effective in the following cardiac arrhythmia. The question was same based on the lignocaine. Options are atrial fibrillation, paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, PSVT, then digitalis induced ventricular extrasystole. That is digitalis induced arrhythmia that we already discussed in the chapter cardiac glycoside. The correct option D, all of the above. So the correct answer for this question is option C. Lignocaine has action against the arrhythmia induced by the digitalis now we will move to the next question question number seven the following antiarrhythmic drug accumulates in the body for a long time for a very long time which of the following antiarrhythmic drug accumulates in the body for a very long time options are prokinamide option b mexilatin Option C, Prechelium. Option D, Amiodarone. Amiodarone. The correct, op, correct answer for this question is, seventh question, Amiodarone is the correct answer. Amiodarone, the duration of action is almost, that is TF for this uh, Amiodarone is almost uh, 3 to 8 weeks. 3 to 8 weeks. Three to eight weeks is there that the half of this amiodarone. So it is the antiarrhythmic drug which accumulates in the body for a very long time. Now we will move to the next question. Hypothyroidism. This is very important question. Hypothyroidism is a possible consequences of prolonged therapy with option A, amiodarone, option B, mexilatin, option C, sorted out, option D, prokinamide. The correct answer for this one is amiodarone. Amiodarone will cause hypothyroidism. For understanding this one, you can see in the amiodarone IOD. 
iodine iodine this iod that's that is iodine related so that is hypothyroidism okay for studying for learning this one you can use this a simple trick amiodarone causes hypothyroidism that's uh, here it is iodine that's why now we will move to the next question of this video ninth question choose the correct statement about defotilide choose the correct statements about the defotilide options are option a it is a pure class 3 antiarrhythmic pure class 3 antiarrhythmic Option B, it has no adrenergic cholinergic receptor blocking property. Option C, it is selectively depresses the rapid component of delayed rectifier potassium current in myocardial fibers. Option D, all of the above. Defetilide, then amiodarone, then ibutilide, all are coming under class 3 antiarrhythmic. So the option A is correct. Next question, in next option, it has no adrenergic and cholinergic receptor blocking property. That is also correct. But we studied this one with anti-cholinergic anti action before one medicine. That one we already discussed, I think. Now, uh, that was a disopiramide, disopiramide, I think, the follow antiarrhythmic drug with uh, anti-cholinergic action. That was disopiramide. I just uh, told this one, tell this one because of this option. It has no this one. The fitter don't have any adrenergic or cholinergic receptor blocking property. Next option C. It selectively depresses the rapid component of delayed rectifier potassium current in the myocardial fibers. That is potassium channel blocker. These all three are correct. So the correct answer is option D. Option D. All of the above is the correct answer. Now we will move to the next question. Tenth question of this video action of adenosine include the following except action of adenosine include the following except adenosine is mainly used for the PSVT paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia for the treatment of paroxysmal sup Paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, that is PSVT. Here the options are actions of adenosine include the following except depression of AV node, coronary vasodilation, bronchodilation, falling BP. The correct answer is bronchodilation. The adenosine will cause bronchospasm or bronchoconstriction, not bronchodilation. So the correct answer is here is bronchodilation. These are the important multiple choice questions from this uh, chapter. Now we will see the classification of antiarrhythmia this is very important the first category is we already told that is sodium channel blocker sodium channel blocker sodium channel blocker that is the first option I mean first category then in that category itself three types are there that is moderately First one is moderately decreases, moderately decreases rate of zero phase, rate of zero phase. Examples are cunidine, procainamide, disopiramide, morisicin. Cunidine, procainamide are coming under moderately decreases rate of zero phase. The second option is little decrease, little decrease in rate of zero phase the examples are lignocaine mexilatin are example for this one then the last option of this sodium channel blocker is marked decrease marked decrease decrease in rate of zero phase examples are propofenone flicainide now we will move to the next category that is first one sodium channel blocker next one is beta blockers beta blockers that one we know the examples example propranolol esmolol sotrolol and the third one third category is potassium channel blocker potassium channel blocker their mechanism is potassium channel blocking their potassium channel blockers examples 
Amiodarone, Bretillium, Dofetilide, Imbutilide are example. Amiodarone we studied. Amiodarone causes hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism. Now the last option, last category of uh, antiarrhythmic drug is calcium channel blockers. That is CCB, calcium channel blocker. Verapamil and Deltiasms are mainly using in this category. So these are the different classes of antiarrhythmic drug. One is sodium channel blocker, another one is beta blocker, third one is potassium channel blocker and fourth one is calcium channel blocker. These are the main important antiarrhythmic drug. So adenosine is mainly used in the PSVD that is also we discussed. Paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, adenosine as well as digitalis is using in the PSVT. But digitalis induced arrhythmia is treated with lignocaine. This is also important point. So these are the important points regarding this one. Uh, this uh, anti-arrhythmic drug. Hope you understood this thing. Okay. So thank you guys for watching this video. And... Uh, you, you can check the video list of uh, NS Pharma YouTube channel. You can see different classes of different chapter from the pharmacognosy, pharmacology as well as pharmaceutics now. Now I will try to upload more videos regarding the other chapters also. So you can find more chapters in this so that you can cover the, all, the, all the chapter for the competitive exams. Thank you.